Today I have with me Mike Denemy from MD Calibrations. Mike's an absolute expert in the calibration department. Today he's going to be showing us what, Mike? I will be demonstrating the alley sensor levels, a dual application, multi-values for leveling a machine tool. We'll be using these levels, one level set up for pitch, one level set up for roll, with a display on a iPad, mini iPad, which will enable us to not only check the machine's level to earth level, but make the adjustments under the machine in one setup. Let's get to it, Mike. Thank you. Thank you. What we have is a mounting here of dual alley sensor levels. The alley sensor levels mounted dual will enable us to level this machine in one setup using the mini iPad with a dual display. The first thing I'm going to do is to place this inside the machine and use the iPad to establish earth level for both levels. One level is aligned for machine pitch, the other level is aligned for machine roll. So we can make both adjustments at the same time. I'm going to place it in the machine, take a reading, rotate the plate 180 degrees, take a reading, it will establish earth level. I will then do it again for the second level. Once completed, we can take the iPad down to the jacks and make the necessary adjustments. Now you can see the two levels are mounted in the machine. And here's my iPad. I press the button and go to perform calibration. It says to take the first reading. I'm going to take a reading and now I'm going to rotate the plate 180 degrees. I wait for the display to change color to let me know it's ready to take the next reading. That level is now calibrated to earth level. I will repeat this now with the second level. Perform calibration. Wait for the display to change color. Take a reading. Rotate the plate 180 degrees. Take a reading. Now my display shows the machine relative to earth level. This axis is machine pitch, so that's level this way. And this is machine roll level this way. I will now give this to the technician who will take the iPad right under the machine with him and perform the alignment. All right. There you go. Okay, the technician has finished leveling this machine and as you can see the pitch of the machine which is the tilt left to right is within three seconds if you were using a bubble level on this machine to check the machine level that would be about a half a line on the bubble level a bubble level uh, each line is about eight seconds so for roll the tilt front to rear we are less than one line on the bubble level now this tells me that the machine is level to earth level. But I want to take this one step further. The important thing about this machine is that it moves within plane. So at this point here, I'm going to take both of these levels and set them to zero. I now have a zero set at the center of the machine. I can now move the machine from front to rear and side to side using the same setup and see if the table is pitching as it moves. I'm going to be moving the x-axis, so I'm looking at x-axis pitch. Uh, 
on that one end of travel, it reads zero. At the other end of travel for X, I'm reading four seconds. That means left to right for pitch error, three seconds. This machine is moving a total of three seconds. The machine in pitch of the X axis is moving in plane. I will now check the Y axis. At the front of the reading machine, it reads zero. The rear of the machine reads zero. This machine is not only level to earth level, but it is moving in plane. Being a linear guideway machine, this machine should be running within a plane of five seconds. And we are well within that. Before closing out this video, I wanted to let everyone know that in addition to the multi-values app that you just saw demonstrated, also available is the flatness app, shaft level, shaft plumb, spindle perpendicularity, straightness, squareness, and spindle parallelism app. All these apps are available for free on Apple's App Store and available for the hardware you just saw demonstrated. Thanks for watching.